hi guys welcome to my channel i hope you guys oh happy new year oh my goodness happy new year to everyone happy vibes um i know that your your new year it will be amazing my new year has already been amazing um super excited um last night as i was getting my gas i moved last night as i was getting my gas i saw the cutest float i was so excited it is so beautiful i i might i'm gonna try to upload it it's just so cute i love creativity i love when you know I, I love and i know that the gods love when we're expressing our creative energy i just know that they love when we're inspired and it was just so beautiful so anyway so um welcome to my channel my name is christina so i want to talk to you guys about um what you can expect this year or what you can expect now i mean um yeah we're star seeds we're light workers we love the light but guess what you know who does not love the light the darkness does not love the light so just be prepared okay um if you're feeling resistance you can feel a lot of resistance in your spirit and your energy in your aura you can feel a lot of resistance everywhere in the overall um at atmosphere right now i would say on every level on every energetic level atmospheric level you can feel a hell of a lot of um resistance a lot of resistance because that's the type of energy that you need to be in as well they're resisting you you need to resist them as well um yeah we're light workers yeah we're star seeds but at the end of the day this is the we're in an age of war right now if you guys don't know um we are in a war okay it's either you know that you're gonna get what you want and you're going to take it or they're going to get what they want and they're going to take it from you so um it's basically like the best man wins you definitely do have to um you know i talked about this before but depending on your zodiac sign um you do have to probably channel different energies um throughout the um throughout your ascension cycle throughout your ascension journey i'm not an air sign i am a fire sign which is a great sign actually because um, we're connected directly to the sons of god which is completely amazing but that does require a lot of mental um mental capacity which is definitely like more of the ear energy so i find myself talking a lot even though i'm not an ear sign i find myself talking a lot even though i'm not a water sign i find myself using my um using my emotions a lot i'm depending on all of the zodiacs um the zodiacs are going through their upgrades as well don't think that we are the only ones where do you think that we get the upgrades from as the zodiacs get the upgrades from the sons and from the gods and from our founders and from our ancestors um they do go through their transitions and as they're transitioning we're transitioning so just be aware and guess what the zodiacs get their transmission from both dark and light so you definitely just do have to be aware of that so you definitely do um just be aware of the mental uh you know the mental the mental chatter that's around you because you know what type of energy is around you but like i said always let your voice be um louder than whatever is in your voice um what else do i want to say just be aware um just be aware right now we're just in straight warfare mode okay um straight warfare mode it's it's basically like the olden days it is nothing has changed honestly those grids are still in place honestly those grids are still in place i'm telling you those grids are still here those um i used to love um greek mythology and roman mythology and those grids and those structures and those archetypes are still very much here so when i say that um we're still in warfare mode yes you're a star seed yes you're a light worker and that's exactly why you need to be prepared to be in um to be in battle mode you do you just got to be on um you know you have to be balanced okay because i feel like a lot of a lot of the times when people think of star seed there's an archetype that goes out with that there's a or a light worker or angelic being or whatever you consider yourself whatever you like yourself to be whatever you're into whatever there's there's collective energy attached to that that is not true okay a light worker and a star see they are creators they're progenitors now if you think about people who progenate and who create they're really not all that fluffy fluffy huffy puffy you know it's really not about that it's about making sure that things are as it should be um in a non-judgmental type of way seeing things for what they are being neutral and um taking it for what it is i mean like i tell you guys all the time i know that i am a shadow worker okay i know that i am a shadow worker i also know that i'm super loving and i also know that um i also know that they know that i am a shadow worker i have been seeing shadows since i was a child i was just born with this um with my high sensory um perception on i was born with it on i'm telling you i remember 
as a child seeing them. So when you see your children talking about these things or crying, you got to be careful. You got to protect your children. This is like really the age of awareness. When you see children acting abnormal in certain environments, there's something going on and it does not take a lot to figure out what's going on. Um, children have been on my mind because here we go talking about children again. So when you see children, because I used to have, um, I used to see things and sometimes they would be scary things. Sometimes they would not be scary. Sometimes they would be, um, you know, fighting me. Sometimes they would not. Sometimes they would talk. Sometimes they would do. So when you see a child, it doesn't even have to be your child, but all of the children are ours. So we could just say that we are the guardians of the children. We are, um, I remember I, I used to have to, oh, I used to be having to protect my sisters. I, I had two younger siblings and I definitely had to protect them a lot. Um, for those of us who know. So it's not that you're a bitch, but you have to be okay with not being liked as well. I mean, you just have to be okay with being on a different vibration. Um, and being on a different vibration comes with more responsibility. It comes with more knowledge. It comes with more attacks. It comes with more. But as you're growing, the things that you're dealing with will change as well. So, um, like I said, when you see kids acting abnormal, it does not take um, a genius to figure out what's going on. There's some type of environmental energy going on or there's something trying to, go, to come through. We have many portals, many vortexes, and we should not be afraid of these things. These are how energy energy comes on the planet so um this is how we survive with portals with good portals being open and sometimes we have to battle um for ownership of these portals let's say you know we're made of all of the earthly elements we're made of the water fire air and the earth so when you hear me talking about pollution or chemtrails or you know or environmental pollution or anything of that nature that's because we're made of it uh, we are composited of those things you might not understand how your physical body is made of that but your physical body is very much made of it you are an electrical being so that means that you charge yourself with the earth the earth gives you electricity okay the earth gives you electricity and you do need to be charged it does charge you so what does that mean the earth gives you energy now if they're messing with the earth energy they're messing with you if they're messing with anything in the in, in the world that um that you are connected to they are messing with you so when i say you know guys be aware of environmental pollution be aware of chemtrails be aware of all of this nonsense be aware of toxicity because it does become you this is where we get all kinds of you know anomalies within our lungs within our culture within our self these are so many stimuluses so you just have to be aware um the more aware we are the less control they have over us and the more we're the more aware that we are the more accountable we hold them okay so when we hold them accountable they have no choice but to rectify and change and course correct so um just be aware of that. The children are very important because when they see or are sensing things, um, they are sensing things for a reason. Because remember, when we're born, we're born with like a star seed name. Okay, whatever your star seed origin is, it is imprinted on you, and these people, these entities know that. So some of your children can be, um, some of your children can be um, star seeds, light workers, indigos, um, just you know, very beautiful rainbowy children, and these entities know that, and these entities want to get them. Um, because you know nothing about them. All you know is religion. All you know is not the light. And by the way, religion is not the light. So just so you know that religion is not the light. Actually, religion is very dark. Um, it's very extremely dark. It's very, very... And it, even as I was doing this video, I was noticing all of the sun coming in. And I was really, you know, as I'm studying more and more and I'm realizing more of how we are the sun, okay, that is our natural light. That is the only light in the world. So when you hear religion talking about the light, they are not talking about the true light. So just be very careful about that. Sometimes when you're in religion and sometimes I remember um, they used to be dealing with all kinds of stuff. Um, and, you know, you wonder how these things get in your home. Nothing is in my home. Okay, I mean, yes, they come and they visit me. Um, I have, a, I telepathically communicate with many types of en energies, entities, agencies as well. Um, but nothing comes in my home because I haven't opened myself up, nor am I aligned to those things. So when you're in these religious places and you're like, why am I praying or why is this happening to my house? And I'm a, because you, because that's it. Because you did, you aligned yourself to that. That's not light. Okay. And how they actually 
how they actually are making these grids and remember we're energy so you're in that you're engaging with those energies remember so you're if you're thinking how the hell did something get here it got here because of you okay so that thing is in your house because you allowed it to be in your house okay because somewhere somewhere along the line you are aligned with it trust me um there is really no difference there's really no difference between the sensual rap community hip-hop community dark community and the churches it is the same damn thing okay same puppet pulling both of your strings um sometimes criminals will come out of prison and they will go to the church and think that oh their life is going to get better and you know what the next day they end up dying there really is no difference there really is no difference you really have to connect with god yourself you have to know who you are first and see through all of the bullshit um so these are just be prepared i just want you guys to just step up your game in terms of your warfare your mind your attitude you gotta you gotta put on a new a whole new mindset for this year just be prepared this is the age of um warfare okay this is the age of warfare you can definitely check out lisa ascension glossary please do check her stuff out um please do check out ascension glossary lisa renee she is very much on point with what she's talking about she knows what she's talking about and um definitely do support her as well i do love her stuff she is definitely um amazing and um just uh, also something that i wanted to share with you guys as well is just be very uh, aware that everything is a program so if you feel like you have to check yourself if you feel as though because with me i know that um because i do this um every program is run because i run programs too like i run i run codes and i run all kind of stuff and they do too and so we're i'm constantly in a conflict with them and i'm constantly in a conflict with them about you too because i'm sure you have questions and i can probably even hear some of them um but and and anyhow in that case you just have to be very careful okay you just definitely have to be careful sometimes you go into an environment and someone might be a different race than you and you might think that they're racist no they're running racial programs to start race wars okay that's what they're doing they run all kind this is all a big program okay they run all that's why you have to be very one very mentally not playing with them um and two very just in your heart you know but you can't be so much in your heart that you don't have any sense to to discern you definitely this is the age of discernment as well and you definitely have to step really truly into your god self okay you definitely have to step right into your god self i mean you definitely do so this is the message i have for you guys happy new year um i am sending you lots of positive energy shielding you like crazy just shielding everything shielding my entire channel i'm just i'm constantly asking my guides to really uh, shield my entire channel um because i do know that the information that i give you is not something they want the public to know especially not coming from a black woman um so definitely please do please do please do please do um shield yourself as well shield me as well and just let's shield each other um and i hope that you have a happy new year thank you for watching like and share and subscribing